Thank you, everybody. Most important thing. I'm only signing because it costs nothing. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. He signed it because it costs nothing. And also this. They should have had this last one done. They lost by one vote. For a thing like that to happen is a disgrace. So with the help of Vice President Pence, President Trump today signed an executive order on health care that could begin the unraveling of Obamacare that the Republicans' health care attempts failed to do. For a long period of time since I started running, and since I became president of the United States, I just keep hearing repeal, replace, repeal, replace. Well, we're starting that process, and we're starting it in a very positive manner. Now, the first thing to know about today's executive order is that no law was signed. It is now up to several cabinet agencies to review and allow public comments before any regulation is put in place. In other words, this could take months, and it will not affect the current open enrollment. But what does the executive order do? Well, it looks to expand association health plans, short-term insurance, and health reimbursement arrangements. As Vox News puts it, these changes could represent a serious threat to Obamacare. Trump wants to open more loopholes for more people to buy insurance outside the health care laws markets, which experts anticipate would destabilize the market for customers who are left behind with higher premiums and fewer insurers. In other words, this executive order could end up creating the implosion that Trump previously hinted at. Obamacare is in a total death spiral. Let Obamacare fail. It'll be a lot easier. I said from the beginning, let Obamacare implode and then do it. I turned out to be right. And we have breaking news on this. Politico is now reporting, quote, President Trump plans to cut off critical subsidy payments to insurers selling Obamacare coverage. This is according to two people familiar with the matter. The decision to end the payments worth an estimated $7 billion this year marks Trump's most aggressive move yet to dismantle Obamacare after months of failed GOP repeal efforts on Capitol Hill. Republican Congresswoman Eliana ross Layton of Florida has just tweeted this. Cutting health care subsidies will mean more uninsured in my district. POTUS promised more, more access, affordable coverage. This does the opposite. It absolutely does. This is a serious matter. Joining us now is Julie Robner, the chief Washington correspondent at Kaiser Health News. And back with us is Neera Tandon. Uh, Julie, let me start with you. Uh, these cost sharing uh, reductions, these subsidies uh, are, are really the lifeline for these markets, these insurance markets. This is the thing uh, that insurance companies in many cases base their premiums on. And if they are disappearing, that could mean premium spikes. Well, we're already seeing premium spikes for next year based on the possibility that these payments won't be made. It's about $7 billion worth of payments. These are payments that are required under the law that insurers are required to give to people who earn under two and a half times a poverty level, about $30,000. About half the people, more than half the people in the exchanges get them. And basically what the, what the president is saying is we owe you this money, but we're not going to give it to you. Uh, let me ask you this, Neera. Uh, Senator uh, Chuck Schumer has tweeted uh, in response not to this new announcement, which has just come out, but to the uh, health care executive order that the president signed this morning. He, he uh, tweeted out, having failed to repeal the ACA or Obamacare in Congress, POTUS is using a wrecking ball to single-handedly rip apart and sabotage our health care system. And it will add further chaos to the markets if the system deteriorates. Make no mistake about it. The blame will fall squarely on POTUS. This is an important point because the president has stated, as have many Republicans, that Obamacare has been in a death spiral. We have countered that with, with, with facts many times, but they continue to say it. And Democrats um, are now witnessing the fact that it is in a death spiral despite the failure of two attempts to repeal Obamacare. So the issue is Obamacare may implode. Who gets the blame? I think the person who gets the blame is the person who is to blame, and that is Donald Trump. I mean, the reality of this situation is just to step back. What the president has done today and the announced news this evening is really about doing one thing, not hurting Democrats, not hurting Barack Obama. It is hurting people who get health care from the Affordable Care Act, who are the citizens of this country, 
to, it's basically all designed to raise their premiums. All of this effort, the creation of chaos, the not paying the subsidies, that's not really not paying subsidies to the insurance companies, that's about raising premiums for that people have to pay. And the, that's what's happening here. The president has a political objective. His pawns are American citizens, and he is happy to make them pay for his political objective. Now, I think that's a, a, a ridiculous gamble because I do think what happened today is the president is taking ownership of the Affordable Care Act. It is, the, it is his, these are his plans, this is his action. What happens now is because of what he's doing. And when there is chaos in these markets and insurers flee and premiums rise, we've seen it from polling already, but I think more and more people will recognize a president who spent all his time trying to repeal the Affordable Care Act and passed a bunch of executive actions that he used to hate but now loves is actually going to be the person responsible for what's happening to them. Julie, I, you know, um, j my producers are going to let me um, get a little nerdy on this because I enjoy uh, the topic of health care, as you know, and I rely very much on the Kaiser Family Foundation. Earlier this week, Larry Levitt, uh, the vice, senior vice president there, tweeted this warning about one of the elements of this executive order. He said, if loosely regulated association plans are allowed, insurers will leave the ACA marketplaces as as soon as they can or hike premiums a lot. Wh who wins in this sort of uh, effort to uh, get more people out of the marketplace? Is this designed to have the marketplaces collapse? Because as you create alternatives to being in the marketplace for people in the individual markets, you can do nothing else mathematically except weaken those markets. That's right. Basically, there's there's two things that, that would happen here. Healthy people would be able to join either of these association health plans, which they might or may not be able to do by executive order. But these short-term plans also, mm -hmm. which are not part of, a, of the Affordable Care Act, people who are healthy can go into them. They're allowed to turn away people who are sick. That leaves only sick people back in the exchanges. It, it does cost the government, despite what the president says, more because the, the subsidies for their premiums would go up. The people who get hurt are the people who are buying individual insurance insurance, who have pre-existing conditions, and who don't get help from the government. I wrote a story about them this week. It's about seven and a half million people. They're primarily Republicans. They will pay yep. the bulk of these increased premiums. Uh, I, I recommend people uh, check out some of the writing that you've done, Julie, because you guys are really on top of this. Julie Robner is the chief Washington correspondent at Kaiser, he Kaiser Health News, near attendant as the president of the Center for American Progress, and it was an advisor on the Affordable Care Act. Thank you to both of you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.